Hey everybody, my name is Paul from the COD Brothers Gaming and this is Slide 3, The Honor Among Thieves. I'm just gonna continue ahead and press start so we can continue this game. This is it, Sly. The gang's assembled and are in position to help you get up to that ball. For the rest of the operation, you are the ball. Roger, Bentley. I'm starting my approach. Getting over these fortress walls shouldn't be a problem. Look, we're running five by five here. Make sure everyone's in sync. I hear that. Artillery, sure you can make that shot? I endeavor not to miss. Excellent. Radio control. In position. Recovery team. Our pump. Submersibles. Showtime, baby. Telekinetics. I gotta die. All right, it's the crime of the century and the ball's in motion. All right, so you guys can see that Bentley does look a bit different. So does Sly in a, in a sense. And some of those voices might have been familiar, but I'm not going to go and spoil anything. So let's proceed through this entire huge island fortress, I guess. Look at that. That's creepy. And we're going to head around here. I'm trying to get you down to the basics. Here we go. At least they're not as... <laughs> um, like they're not stretching the value of jump and hit the circle button. The ball has stopped rolling. We've got an obstruction. I'm on it. First is away. Second guy is full. Third sky works. Hold on, pal. Over. So as you guys can see, there's more than one person helping me. Look what we got here. Ancient old rock. Prep for timber. Hiya. How are you? Ah, well done. Let her rip, old rock. Balls in position. So there are multiple people working on this one job alongside me. Let's get up here. Up here? Is this where I gotta go? No, 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 that's not where the camera's leading me. The camera's leading me somewhere. Down here. Ball requesting door via Agent Monarch. Over. Launching. Stand clear. That was a good RPG. Let's head down here. Nice coins. Got some traps. I almost fell into that. Wow. Okay, so we're behind a fan. Do we search? Yep. And we're in. <laughs> so we're gonna go over here. We're gonna have to get around this. There are sharks! Check it out. Whoa. You guys can actually see who that is. Wow. I'm not gonna say anything. Okay, so the force fields are down. Here's the elevator. How's your wife doing, Richards? Oh, very well, Dr. M. Thank you for asking. Very thoughtful. Check it. Man, your son, uh, what's his name? Mike? Mark, sir. He, he's well too, yeah. Shame you won't be seeing them again. Ah, uh, sir? Afraid I poisoned your drink at lunch. Sorry, Richards, but I don't tolerate poor performance. You should have changed the security code from one, two, three after you installed the new system. I'll improve, I swear! No, you'll die any second. Mm -hmm. Oh. 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 Yes, water leaking into the lab. I'm on my way down. Oh, then get a janitor for the lab elevator. Richard's got sloppy. The Cooper vault is just across these wires. I'm en route to your position for the loot haul. So you guys heard him properly. We're after the Cooper vault. What could this mean? And on top of that, that guy just took the elevator just to see his employee die. From the poisoning, which is kind of good because he actually would notice that. Like, unlike in the Emperor's New Groove, where they didn't realize it wasn't poison. Anyway, I really shouldn't have shown you who was in the water because that kind of spoiled it, but you know what? We're gonna keep going. I think that adds a bit of tensity. Whoa! Derp alert! Derp alert! 
They're trying to shoot me, so let's just keep jumping and keep it moving. And what the hell is this? One, two, three! Keeper of the cane. Oh, how I long for this. This vault belongs to the Cooper family. You're trespassing. No, my naive boy, you're trespassing. I've got a deed to this island. This fortress is mine. Everything here is mine, which now includes the key to the vault. Hand over that cane. Sorry, pal. Family heirloom buy a knockoff at the gift shop. Quick, let's regroup with the others. Follow me. Get away from Rafiki. Rafiki from the line can get away from... Oh, crazy baboon. Whoa. So I thought that was Carmelita at first, but it's not. It's actually from him. And if you guys haven't noticed, Bentley is crippled. Whoa. Right to roll the lasers with Bentley, and Bentley is in the field actually being a beast right now. So after what happened in slide 2, with him being uh, like pretty much smashed up by the clockwork parts, he got this wheelchair and he's actually gotten pretty damn awesome. And I think it's really cool that he stayed in the field, unlike running away from his fears and stuff like that. That made him even more of a heroic figure. Let's head out here. We're almost home free! Just up ahead! There's no escape, Koopa. So Bentley jumps into the field and a huge monster grabs him on like the first run in this game. Bad luck, Brian, for the win. Let's go. Gotta fight back. Can't even hit him. Whoa. Ah! Flung me right into the air. Okay, we're gonna come back. This guy looks pretty beast too. Wait, why can't I hit him? I'm trying to hit his face. It's not working! Save yourself! If he wants to eat, eat this! It was like they always say, your life really does flash before your eyes. There it all was, stretching back to my childhood. Born into a family of master thieves that went back for generations, I was next in line to continue the Cooper name. But fate had different plans. I was robbed of my childhood when a ruthless gang attacked our home. The orphanage I landed in wasn't all bad. It was there that I met my lifelong friends. Bentley, he's always been the thinker. And Murray, he's the doer. We'd stuck together over the years, and our skill, our confidence, and our thieving reputation grew stronger with each heist. We thought that the good times would never end, and that our luck would never run out. Which only made things tougher when the odds finally caught up with us. Then I met this guy, McSweeney, who claimed to have run with my father's crew back in their heyday. They pulled jobs all over the world and amassed quite a collection of priceless items. It was then that McSweeney told me all about the Cooper Vault. It seemed that my father, like all my ancestors, 
had been hiding their wealth in a secret place for generations, each one adding to the treasure hidden behind a door that if McSweeney's story is true, only a Cooper can open. Using some well-placed clues provided by McSweeney, we set out for the secret island that held the vault. On arriving, we discovered someone by the name of Dr. M had already set up shop. From the looks of it, he'd been trying to crack the thing for years, growing steadily more frustrated in his failures and more paranoid as the decades rolled by. He built himself a fortress with security as tight as Fort Knox. Getting inside the place would take precision, creativity, and moreover, it would take an army of world-class thieves. Finding and bringing together that much talent won't be easy, but to get inside the Cooper vault and collect my inheritance, I was willing to pay the price. Okay, so this is the saving icon, we can skip ahead of this. So we opened the vault and the guy shot it closed, so that guy's a derp for that. And the way this story is going to be told before you guys get confused... Wait, this was... We also have two players in this game, I forgot to mention. First game in the size series to have two players, so... I'm gonna be doing that at the end and the extras. So let's head to the hazard room. But, we're gonna, I'm gonna explain the story in a minute. If we're gonna make it to the Cooper Vault, we'll need to perfect our thieving skills. I've rigged this place to push us to our limits. I'm guessing these levers start the different trainers. That's right! Each will initiate a streamlined crash course in grand larceny. I'll head for the control room, and we'll get things started. Dish it out. I'm ready. So this is a bit of a training area, but... It's being told from way back before they got to the island, so this is in the past. A lot of people were confused by this, even I was a child. So he's, being, he's still being choked to death by the, the monster, and yeah, this is all a flashback. Okay, all great thieves have one thing in common. A ton of cash? No, they never get lost. Use the right analog stick to look around the hazard room. Try to find the Cooper gang marker I'm projecting. Now, this is more of a tutorial-based area, so look at that. I see it. Great! Now, press down on the L3 button to ping a waypoint. Waypoint. That's handy. I agree. These holographic markers are an invaluable tool for finding your way around in the field. Notice how the logo moves to the destination? Try clicking the L3 button a few more times to get the hang of it. Okay, I've programmed in a new mission destination. Press L3 to find it. Perfect. Now everyone knows that a thief's best friend is a rooftop. Provided he doesn't break his neck getting up there. Not a problem for a man with your jumping skills. Hit the X button for a standard jump. Then hit the X button a second time while in the air for an extra high double jump. So we can double jump up here. Alright, Bentley. What's next? As you know, it's very useful to survey guards from the rooftops. To do that, we'll have to be able to look down at them. Let me guess. Use the right analog stick? Yep. Try to find the marker I'm projecting down there. Excellent. Now look up at that pillar. I'm projecting another marker. Great! Now put all these skills to use and get to the remaining waypoints. Should be easy if you ping them with the L3 button and look around. Okay, so remaining waypoints. Oh damn it. It's what they should have put in slide two, honestly, because slide two didn't really have that much of an explanation. But this game, they're trying to help you guys out because it's gonna be a lot more difficult. So let's get up here. Good job, Sly. You made it! You're now ready to take on the meanest of navigation tasks. And now we have one more tutorial to do. You picked up a lot of skills after reading the Phoebe's Raccoonus. Heck of a page turner, that book. Let's see if you remember them all. 
Check out those small points on that wire. You can land on them light as a feather using your ninja spire jump. Easy. I just jump and hit the circle button. Exactly. Try getting over to the other platform. Wait, what button was it? I'm not sure I remember. Ah, damn. Let's just get across. Looking good, Sly. You know how I love the second story work. Sure, but how do you feel about tight spaces? Try getting through the small opening in that wall. Hit the circle button when you're close to crawl inside. And get inside. We're gonna crawl around. Whoa! 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 Nice job, Sly. You're a credit to the Cooper name. And that's the second mission. We're all done in here. Let's head outside and get this operation underway. Let's get the hell out of here. Okay, so now by doing the hazard room, you unlock the op an opera of fear. An opera of fear, episode one. Start the episode, Paul. Getting inside a world-class vault would take a team of world-class thieves, a group of specialists, each member contributing their own particular talent. It was clear that we needed Murray back. Not only was I missing a lifelong friend, but his brute strength helped get us out of more than a few scrapes in the past. When Bentley was injured during the whole clockwork affair, Murray blamed himself, eventually leaving the team. We tried to console him, but going out on his own was something he needed to do. He said he wanted to find his spiritual center. We got word that Murray ended up in the Australian outback where he studied a mystic art called the dream time from an aboriginal guru. From all accounts, things went pretty well, and his teacher even sent him on a walkabout to locations all over the globe to complete the training. Latest reports have cited Murray in beautiful Venice, Italy, but what he's doing there is a mystery. I just hope he steers clear of the local mob boss, Octavio. Growing up, this guy used to be a real celebrity in the neighborhood. Everyone loved to hear him sing opera and said he was destined to be the next great tenor. But just as his career started to take off, musical tastes changed. Suddenly, it was all about rock music and no one wanted to listen to opera anymore. He held on to a few fans and it was these mobsters that took him into the business. Heading onto this guy's turf was dangerous, but worth it for a chance to make things right with Murray. So we just got pretty much an overview of the area. And over here you can see we have ThiefNet. It's back online. But that could seem pretty much summed up everything. And we got the alarm clock and a smoke bomb. Now they're going to show you a marker over the characters' heads that have a mission. So let's head outside. See what we've got for Sly. Given Murray's oh wow, police past, HQ. It seems logical to start our search at the local police station. If he's not already in custody, the cops are sure to have leads on all the crooks and bed. Damn you cops. <laughs> That massive dome marks the Venetian police station. 
Cops around here really like to make an impression. I'm afraid it's a losing battle. Don Octavio runs the show in this neighborhood. It's his security forces patrolling the streets, not the cops. Noted. Huh. Looks like I found my way inside. Well, that dome is covered in glazed tile. There's no way to climb up there. Oh, come on, pal. There's always a way. Where there's a will, there's a way. Now, Octavio, that guy right there, the guy with the huge, huge, whatchamacallit, banner, I guess you could call it, or sign, I don't care, it was an opera singer, and he wants revenge upon everybody for hating opera. It's kind of like Nicki Minaj, need I say more, because she was a trained opera singer, and yeah. <laughs> nice climbing, partner. I've got the blueprints to the vent system in front of me. I should be able to guide you to the jail cell. So in we go. Hey, Murray? Is that you? Murray, that name's a stain on my pants, bro. What? Cooper, you got some fuzzy dice to come round here. Dimitri, long time no punch. See you're still in jail. And you still a cracker box. Let's get past the name calling and get to business. Looking for main man Murray, eh? Sorry, but I'd rather see you get busted big time! God! Balita! Wait! Gotta think of something to keep him quiet. I could try threatening him, flattering him, or cutting a deal. I'm gonna threaten him real quick. I think you can feel the mission for this, but it's worth it. Rat me out to those cops and I'll get thrown in there with you. It'll be a heck of a cage match, and we both know who will win. Or did you forget Paris? <sighs> Worth it to see your smug face behind the bars. Okay, that's not working. Flattery. Where's that generous nature you're so famous for? I always pegged you as the bigger man in these types of situations. I'm a big man. Big with the payback and the sex appeal. <laughs> Got that end? I control the beat on this track. You're just a dancer. Did he just say sex appeal in an E-rated game? So this is a new mechanism in this game. You can select choices in some of the conversations with the enemies that you run into. And surprisingly, we ran back into this guy, which is crazy. So let's just go ahead and cut a deal. If those cops get their mitts on me, who's going to break you out of jail? You might get this cell door open, but the cops would throw down and bust me on the way out. And then I'll get the double sentence. <laughs> Grief! He's right. It'll be tough getting him out of here. I need a plan. Maybe I could disguise us both as police, then walk out? Tell you what, I'll steal a couple of police uniforms, we'll suit up, and then just walk out the front door. Come on, man. I'm a fashion all-star. No way, no how I'm dressing up in polyester pig suit. Some things worse than jail. You're kidding me. I know what you could, um, I know which one it is. But I'm just going to try all the options just to show you guys how in-depth this talking system is. Take him up the vent with him? Ew, that's kind of... it's like smushing, ah. Look, I got in here through an air vent. We can both use it to escape. I can't fit in no vent. You spy my macho frame? I'm back in too much sexy muscle to fit in vent like you stick dudes. And distract the cops so you can get away. Clearly. How about I get the cops' attention, then run for it? Once they're all outside shooting at me, you can slip out no problem. No, that's a plan I can get behind. Dimitri is free and Cooper is cooked. Key for sale is in head cop lady's office. Okay, great. This other lock won't be a problem. I should be able to crack it by hand. Get me out of here and I'll find Murray. No sweat. Just keep on the down low and out of sight near them coppers, bro. They're a bad bunch of bunnies. Oh, so you, now you're my, you're my bro. And they give him cigarettes. So we're still crawling. And if you guys can hear the voice in the background, that's Carmelita. Don't touch his foot. Now, in every game, Carmelita's voice changed. And I think... 
It's alright in this game, but the second game had the best Carmelita voice overall. And I'm just gonna go in here before I get shot. And they're after Octavio as well. Nice work. Head back to Dimitri's cell and free him. If he's true to his word, we'll be talking to Murray in no time. Let's get back to business. Now, where was I? Hold tight, boys. The power's on the fritz again. It'll calm down in a few minutes. Better make sure you're under a desk when the lights come back on. Oh dear. Of course they had to throw a curveball in. Okay, get underneath the desk. Whoa! It's activating. Aha. Did I really have to jump and get that key? I just remember that. I did a huge jump. Why I slide? Oh, jeez. And these guys are brawling as hell, so you don't want to mess with them at all. If those lights turn on now. No, no, no. It's right behind me. <gasps> Sly Cooper. Should have figured you'd show up. Grab him, boys. Oh my god. Why? I was right there. All right, we're back. Can you really crack this coconut? Sure, just takes a light touch. Cool. Now this is also a new mechanism in this game. You gotta turn the stick until you feel the vibration. I know, it's kinda weird, but... Here we go. This safe will be tough to crack, but I've seen you open harder locks. Slowly rotate the left analog stick until... I'll do like I promised, and distract the cops so you can make your escape. Sally, don't worry no mind. Straightway I'll password for Murray to find you. Meet at Rialto Bridge, big Italian landmark. Okay, guess it's showtime. Hello, assorted meatheads. And lady. Anyone feel like some exercise? Cooper, grab him, man! And I'm out. Did he really just steal my outro? You've got some serious nerve showing up in my squad room. I was concerned we were growing apart. Then let's spend some quality time together in my interrogation cell. So forward? What happened to the demure girl I used to know? She grew up and stopped taking grief from guys like you. Guys like me? Are you saying I've got some competition for your affections? You're the only man in my sights right now. Oh, damn. Crazy bipolar bitch! Anyway, we're gonna go jump up here. They got a whole obstacle course waiting for us, so... Of course. Just jump and hit the circle button all the way and we should be good. God damn, she got rapid fire on that ship. You can't keep running for the rest of your life. Oh yes I can, I'm doing it right now. Ah uh -huh. Okay. Now <laughs> this looks like I'm about to meet over there. Oh man. Ooh! I jumped into that one. Greetings, old Inspector Fox! Man, you're in it again! Hope that manual works both ways. That's right! Hide in the sewers like the rat you are! Thanks for the quick escape. I owe you one. Again. Of course, Searcher. We are all in need of peace. You're really whole hog on this Dreamtime stuff, huh? My mind is clear. Like the woodland after a forest fire. Listen, Murray, we need you back on the team. That thing with Bentley, it wasn't your fault. He doesn't blame you for the wheelchair. Sorry, Sly. I walk a different path. My guru, in his wisdom, told me to lose myself and not return until the black water ran pure. So here I stay. You sure he didn't tell you to get lost and not come back until you've cleaned out the water filter? Come on! I'm on a real spirit quest here! Sorry, sorry. 
Tell me everything. I've missed you, pal. Well, it's a long and awesome story. You got any gum? somehow connect, as non-law operatives, we'll be able to tackle the situation in a more head-on fashion. First, we break into Octavio's Opera House. If he's hiding anything, we'll find him. We should also keep a close eye on the dog. Some photographic evidence of him connected to the tar might be enough to get the old mobster put away. Of course, meanwhile, I'll monitor local communication frequencies. With some luck, we might pick up some quality intel. If you guys enjoyed this episode, please remember to leave a like, favorite, and subscribe for more. And, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Peace.